Welcome, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually set up your banner. I am using a Simply Created Banner Kit by Stampin' Up! And it comes with three different styles. You've got your pointed style, your normal banner style, and then your circle banner style. So with that, I take those three designs, since that's what I chose to use, and I map this out. So I pick my first one that I'm going to start with, and I'm going to start with the circle banner, and then I just draw it out. So I'm going to rotate circle, normal style, and then pointed style. And then that way I just repeat this process for however many letters I have. I am doing a God is Love banner, so I want to make sure to have everything mapped out completely before I start the banner so I don't mess anything up, especially since these banners are on canvas. So I go ahead and just repeat the process and put my goddess love on everything and then once I do that then I'm going to decide which style of the banner I actually want to use. I want to use three different styles because this kit actually comes with three different styles and I select three different actual colors. I'm going to use chocolate chip, early espresso, and baked brown sugar all from Stampin' Up! So the first I decide to go ahead and use the dots and I just draw that on and then I use the chevron and then I use the stripes and then I just again repeat those and in order to change it up a little bit I decided with the chevron that I was going to go horizontally instead of vertically and with the stripes I would go again diagonally instead of vertically and I'll show you how to do that in the following videos where I walk you step by step on how to actually make all of these different elements so now the next step is to actually pick the color of the banner itself. You're not picking the words yet, you're picking the banner color. So I'm going to start out with baked brown sugar and then I'm going to go into early espresso and then chocolate chip. And then all you have to do is repeat that process. So once you repeated that process, and I even go ahead and add an extra banner at the end just in case, because you never know, you might need an extra piece. So once I finish that, then I want to go ahead and pick my letter color. Well, if I'm having baked brown sugar on the bottom, I don't want the same color on top. That would be more monochromatic, and I want all three colors on all of the banners um, stacked. So for baked brown sugar, I decided to go with the early espresso as the color. And then for early espresso, I decided to put chocolate chip. And then for chocolate chip, I decided to put bright brown sugar. And then I just repeat that. And that's the letter color because I'm actually cutting out circles and um, sponging the letters in the circle that are going to add to the rosettes. So the rosettes would be the next piece that I need. Well, because again, I said I wanted three colors, all the all of the same on not all of the same excuse me on one banner I just repeat the process so as you can see the L is early espresso chocolate chip letter with the baked brown sugar in the background as the rosette and that really completes the process so those are your three main colors that I chose just like in the serenity banner it's set up exactly the same way it's just I'm changing out the colors so it's going to give it a completely different feel so now you're going to be able to pick your designer series paper or any paper that you want to create, anything like that. I went with three different types of paper. I went with matte paper, words paper, and then I went with stripes. And you'll see that again in the following videos that we do where I actually walk you through how to make the rosettes, which is the next step because it takes the longest, quite frankly. So I had 18 in the set, and I've already used 10 in my Serenity banner, in my banner. So that leaves me with eight, which is why God is Love was perfect for my living room. So please keep watching and join me next um, in the next video in order to see how to actually make the rosettes. Thank you again and visit scrapbookserenity.blogspot.com for more information.